Hello, welcome to this podcast. My name is Beatrice Mars. I am a singer songwriter from France. So, the other day, was it something like it was more like two days ago? I've uh, uh, I've come across a, a video on YouTube talking about Live Nation. It seems to be a company that organizes all the major concerts in uh, in the states. So. Um, I'm not sure I knew uh, I had had come across that name before. I'm not one of the percent sure. I kind of think of, but uh, right, but never mind. And yesterday, actually, I was uh, watching another video. No, it was this morning actually. I uh, actually stumbled into uh, to another video where uh, it was about Twitch and the fact that uh, the creators on Twitch are getting uh, strikes from uh, DMCA, from major labels, anyway. How strange, how weird, and how surprised am I, actually? Before I, I, I go any further, I like to say I'm just an independent artist. I'm not signed to any label. I'm just doing my thing. And as far as I know, I've learned a few cents on my music so far, on my six, al- on my six albums, but I've never actually uh, actually touched your money. Uh, you know, it wasn't paid to me because it's solo. The amount is solo, but it couldn't be paid to me to this date. So I've never toured before. I'm not planning on touring because of health issues. And then with that thing, I mean, running around the world now- nowadays, it's very unlikely that in, in the future I will actually do any tour, whatever, or any venues anyway. But even though I have to say that going going on to was was never a part of uh, of my uh, of my plan when it comes to my music i'm just just plan happy recording my music and that's it and putting it out out of out in the world that's it and uh, i would say i call right now i'm calling my music some kind of lo-fi alternative pop music or lo-fi f- lo-fi pop music that's it so you know you can guess what I, what I'm saying about it, and if you if you want, you can go to your favorite uh, streaming platform and listen to my um, to my music if you wish to. And uh, you don't necessarily ne- necessarily need to listen to the first album. You can listen to the other one as well. Oops, I'm saying something somehow. So coming back to the Twitch thingy and the DMCA, the strikes on Twitch and the Live Nation. So. It's kind of coincidental that uh, now that the, the music industry is in peril, you know, in a bit of danger, things are, ch- are, ch- are, ch- are changing, especially for the major labels company. So, namely, if I haven't man- made much money f- for the past three months, I suddenly realized that, hey, those guys on Twitch, they are actually streaming and they are putting music on, on you know, on their on their str- live stream. So, have we done anything before? Well, so we know now that uh, the answer was no till this date, and it has to be. It had to have the world had to have um, s- um, health issues for them to actually think about uh, going to you know using DMCA on on Twitch. So. I'm gonna rest my case on this one, so it's kind of coincidental that it's just happening right now when people are not touring anymore. Major lib- ma- um, uh, artists from major labels can tour, can do anything. So, and then it comes to the other side of things. The worst thing thing is that when I've learned, I've learned about Live Nation and what they wanted to do for the future contracts. So basically, for what I can gather, Live, N- Live Nation is working with major labels major artists so so I, it's in question that uh, basically they're going to sh- change the term of contract before they actually do anything they're also organizing not only concert but also festival in the states so like something like if a thing is cancelled the, uh, uh, the artist has to pay double the price and uh, basically the, ar- the, the artist has to fork out for the money for the tour you know the travel money and everything so basically the artist needs to pay for everything knowing that Within the major labels, uh, the, artist, the artist is not getting much money from the major label for some of them. So for the major, 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 they're getting some money. But honestly, it could be more, but 
it's not that much but it's not it's more uh, well, it's uh, it's for some it's enough to be millionaires and for some of us it's just enough to scrap you know some money around just able to eat and have a follow us but that's why i see it from far so and i've met a podcast earlier on saying yeah the music industry i think definitely at the beginning of the of the uh, of the health issue thingy right now. So right now we are uh, June 26, 2020. So to put things into perspective. And I was saying, yes, the music industry is changing because some artists took on uh, took on well, YouTube and the one on YouTube did some live streaming concert. And then PRO, especially the French PRO, now they, think it, they are uh, actually paying royalties to artists who are actually live streaming on YouTube. And basically, we do we did it for the uh, for the health crisis, but now we're saying that we're going to do that for in the future. So, I reckon somehow is b- I- what's happening right now is good for the artist. Uh, for the major label artists, I think they will have to adapt themselves for the, for the ones who can actually get out of the contract, maybe, or they got enough power within the major the major label that they can actually. Uh, try to uh, to rethink, you know, rewrite their contract. So, is is uh, the contract is now adapted uh, adapted to um, to the world of the music industry right now, not the one from uh, you know years ago, you know, kind of. Well, you understand what I'm saying. And for the in- independent artists, I'm I'm thinking it's more power to the independent artists somehow whatever whatever is happening right now it's more power to the independent artists and compared to a major label artist i think the the uh the in it's th- what's happening right now in the music industry is fa- favorable to uh you know it's 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 in the benefit of the independent artists so far that's what i can say and I came like a few years ago. I came across the name uh, Ryan Lacy. A guy is an independent artist, and basically he's doing he's doing everything himself, and he's making real money, more money for than uh, major uh, major things si- signed to a major label. So, yeah, and uh, I know the Rust story is kind of you know, you know, and then I'm saying it's it's going to be fair game for the independent artist right now because because I don't know if that thing is really going to come through because with the la- lamination thing but because it appears to me for what I can understand that it was something it was an internal document that was c- kind of linked somehow and uh, people are now speculating saying we are well, we're saying that so it's going to happen it's going to happen but I think it's going to be the death of music industry the way it is right now but is going to be to the benefit of the artist, the real artist. I mean, you know, uh, you won't have to compete so much with major labels. Of c- okay, we got some catalogs, but in terms of if you're an independent artist and you're on social media, you basically v- the thing is on your favor. You d- you don't really have that machinery which is major labels. So you can do the thing you want the way you want to do it. And people are gonna come if you if you can if you can if you if you can relate with your work to your audience, people are gonna come. People are gonna listen to your music, and you're gonna make some money, some decent money from it. You're gonna make a, a kind of living more easily. But if you're a major, you are signing in a major label. You know, it's kind of um, you being there at the right time and be able to do whatever you want. And then because. Uh, once you once you sign to a major label, you become a product, not so much of a, not so much an artist as far as I'm concerned. And then uh, you know you need to do things, and if you want to d- don't do things, then uh, you know nothing is happening to you, and then you get shelved. And that yeah, if you're an independent artist, it's not the same. It's you shelving yourself if you understand what I'm saying. So I'm saying all this all this rust matters and all that health issue for the mu- within the music industry well the consequences of this health issue worldwide within the music industry to me it's a benefit to the artist the artist can truly be independent and basically do it's po- to me it's another opportunity for the artist to do the work he wants to do and publish and distribute the work he wants to do without av- having this machinery that c- can crush you help you s- yes yes some of some of them can help you if you like uh, fit into the mold but 
this machinery can also crush you, abuse you, burn you out. So whatever word you want to use. So I think I think you. I mean, I to me, it, it's a benefit, and to me, it's true that the music industry is going to change. Of course, uh, of course, for the major labels, maybe they will have to rely on living on their old catalogs for some of them. Uh, I understand what for, you know, well, I'm going to say what I wanted to say, basically. I'm going to censor myself, well, that's what I can say. But, yeah, everything is, everything is changing, but to me, it's not a... That Live Nation thing is just like the big player within the music industry showing its true color. That's what I can say. So nothing we didn't know anyway. So, but uh, now it's going to be harder because you know it's it's. I do believe that things are working on your favor as an independent artist, and. If you do it, if you set up your whole business, because okay, you're an artist, but then if you want to get your money, you need to think like business, like you know, you need to be business minded. And if you do it the right way, it's going to be much more easier for you to get some money. To get some money regarding touring, I do believe like following few not not well known artists from from afar. I do believe that. You don't really need need to do use stadium to actually uh, make a living. You can do small s small venues on a regular basis, and you can earn some money. So of course, with that, uh, so you don't. Uh, what I'm saying really, I'm putting some the health issues, the health issue part. To me, you don't really need a big, a big, 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 uh, a big, big uh, company uh, to actually to actually tour. And there are multiple artists independent artists around the world that actually sh that are, are actually showing others that it is possible to tour to tour when you, there's no health issues around around the globe and make some money make a living yes you know a decent living B basically somehow you, you you can be better off than uh, than doing it with a, a major company and major label so i don't to, to me i don't think i don't think it is a problem it's just to me, it's just plain leveling the, the field, and it's a shame that something like what's happening around the world right now had to appear, so so that things could be changed in the favor of the artist. If you if you are following, if you've been following me so far, and if you if you understand what I'm saying regarding my the way I'm thinking about the the, the, the whole issue, so yeah. It's not something that living in France is not something that will, that will affect me. So, so anyway, and as I said to you, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not planning on touring. I wasn't planning on touring, and I'm not planning on touring anytime soon. So, I have to admit that I have a few, a few, uh, uh, I have a handful of listeners of listeners around the world, and it's it is the reason why I'm doing this that podcast in English because it's around the world. It's not it's not in France. It's just around the world, so literally, so it makes sense to me to do a podcast I, I, in French. Then. I know that it's been a while since I've been talking about my music, but uh, believe me, number seven, uh, Nobel seven, is ready to actually uh, to actually fly away. But uh, as I said before, I'm a, uh, I'm a little bit broke, so I don't know how I'm going to distribute um, how and how and when I'm going to distribute it. But surely before the end of 2020, it should happen. So this is my thought on Live Nation, on the Live Nation uh, thingy, and that uh, the strikes on the, on Twitch by major labels i'm kind of you know as i was I w as i was hearing the fact i'm not gonna i'm i'm, I'm not gonna like i'm gonna i'm gonna tell it the, the way it is i was just laughing my head off i just like no well really how far can you go okay how low can you go with people who actually uh who are there to uh, guarantee you your livelihood because without artists you those company do not exist basically so uh how and when the artist is going to be valued to to you know really valued for yeah you know for their work that's that's all i can say when when you when you when you think of those uh, like stupid silly prices people are getting paid for 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 one listen on this platform or whatever you 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 yeah basically so yeah 
go independent, do your thing, do your work. So you show, so you, uh, so you show that you're not going to be shelved somehow. Or people are not going to like stop your career for go knows what and how basically that's all i can say so that's it for me thank you for listening to me i hope you will come back later on to actually listen to another podcast as usual i'm recording this podcast on video so if you go if you want to go to my youtube channel you will be able to see a video of this podcast so thank you for listening to me and i uh, hope to uh, you will come to hear from me again bye take care and make music a lot